good YouTube, man. It's Gabe Butchers and Fan TV, man. Back at you with a video and the content. This video boy smash that like button and the content of the channel. Go ahead and subscribe, man. Look, hey, man, Ravens training camp is here. Players are here. Um, so I want to go over and do some training camp expectations from my point of view. Uh, how many I got down here? I got about four. Uh, two on offense, two on defense, all right? I'm going to keep it simple, man. You know what I mean? Then, uh... I'm just excited. Football season is really right around the corner. Uh, no more speculation. We're going to see some action. All right, great. So the first one, and I want to start off with this one because I feel like this is the most simple one. It's the most obvious one. And when it happens, I do not want people to freak out, okay? The offense will struggle, particularly early on in training camp, all right? Maybe in the first time they get pads on, all right? The defense always comes out faster than the offense. That's, that's, that's just how training camp usually goes, all right? The defense usually starts out better. Also, on top of that, the Ravens are learning a new offensive system. They've had time to uh, train together and everything like that, but it's still a new system. So, in training camp, if you hear reports about the offense struggling, please don't panic. Please don't, all right? By the time training camp is over with, getting into the preseason games, I think they'll be a lot better. They'll be ready to ramp up the goal in regular season. And even in some of the regular season games to start this year, it might not be smooth firing as we hope it to be, all right? So, if you hear early on reports of training camp, the Ravens offense is struggling. Do not get too low about it. Don't get too down about it, all right? Um, it's going to be natural growing pains. I think Lamar Jackson's offense is going to be really good this year. But if you hear about them struggling early on, do not jump out the window with it, all right? Because, look, um, it happens every training camp. I, I covered the training camp last year. It was happening last year. Defense got on top early. Offense has been great days. They went back and forth. That's how it goes, especially when you have a good team. That's just how it goes, all right? So um, if the offense is not firing all, on all cylinders right out the gate, I promise you it is nothing to be concerned about. Um, it actually should be expected. This is why I'm putting it in the uh, training camp expectation, expectation category, all right? All right. Number two, man. Um, I think this wide receiver that's um, kind of been a forgotten man is going to emerge during training camp, all right? Um, you know, I'm not talking about Rashad Bateman because he hasn't been playing. You know, I think he'll be great during training camp. I think he'll be fine. Oda Beckham will be fine. Zay Flowers will do his thing. But um, I'm talking about Devin Duvernay, man. Uh, Devin Duvernay and all the Ravens offseason acquisitions has kind of been a forgotten man in this wide receiver room, all right? I expect him to make his presence felt during Ravens training camp. I really do because... One, he's a good receiver, all right? I, I'm not um, going to say he's a wide receiver one or anything like that. He's not, okay? But Devin Duvernay is a good football player, and he knows how to play. He knows how to get. He knows how to run his routes and get open, all right? Um, I don't believe, as any other wide receiver on this team was, used to their fullest capability under the offense of, of Greg Roman. Um, when Devin Duvernay was asked to play receiver and asked to do real receiver things, he did them pretty well, okay? Um, also, this offseason... Um, there's been multiple reports of Devin Duvernay having a really good offseason workout. I don't expect that to change heading into training camp. I don't. All right. Now, listen, he already has his spot kind of sewn up as far as, um, you know, special teams and things like that. You know, he'll be a, your ace kick returner, punt returner. He's got all that on lockdown. All right. I don't think the Ravens are going to put Zay back there just because um, I think they want to save him just for offense. Right. Maybe he gets a one, two. I don't know. We'll see. But anyway, Devin Duvernay being a uh, one of the emerging players in training camp at wide receiver, I do think it's something that is going to happen, all right? Um, coming out of Texas, he worked the slot really well. He's one of the best players, uh, one of the best slot receivers coming out of college. Um, had a, caught a whole bunch of passes in college, all right? He didn't just magically forget how to do that. And in the NFL, when he's been given opportunities, he's done it pretty well, right? To me, this is the, like pretty much all these Ravens, this is their first time in a offensive system where the wide receivers are not an afterthought. They're a uh, a put together, constructed part of the offense. And Devin Duvernay, I think, will will really strive and emerge from that. Now, will he jump Bateman? Will he jump Odell? Like I, I don't see that. But with Zay Flowers being a rookie, he will play a lot. I'm not saying he won't. Devin Duvernay is right in that mix for that third receiver spot. And in this Ravens offense now, the third receiver is going to play a lot. So um, don't be surprised when you hear reports of Devin Duvernay having really good days at training camp, being one of the better receivers out there at training camp, um, because he's been doing it all offseason so far. I expect that to continue for Devin Duvernay, okay? Um, 
when he's been in the game, like I said, for the Ravens in the past, he's been solid. He's caught the passes. He hasn't really let the team down. And I think this year he goes up from there. All right. I think he has I think he has a good year this year. I really do. All right. Um now, defensive side of the ball, right? I want to talk about slot corner because that's pretty much the area on the defensive side of the ball. Well, that and the edge rusher that the Ravens fans like myself are concerned about, right? Who's going to emerge? Who's going to do what? Um, I expect our Darius Washington, by the time that training camp is ended, to be a serious contender for the slot cornerback position this year for the Ravens, okay? Now, why are Darius Washington? Well, one, the Ravens just keep bringing him back, all right? Um, they keep finding them reasons to get him back on the roster. They obviously like what he can do. They want him on the team, all right? That's one reason. Two, the the, the uh, competition, excuse me, for slot cornerback is very, very thin. Now, obviously you have Marlon, but Marlon's going to be primarily lined up at outside. If Marlon's in a game in the slot, then, you know, they're doing some other things on the outside, all right? So I'm not counting Marlon, right? Caillou Blue Kelly is a rookie, but he's also kind of more of a boundary corner. Uh, Pepe Williams is coming into training camp injured. I believe he's on the pup list. We'll see how long he stays on there. Might not be that long, but we'll see how long he stays on there. Um, Jalen Armour Davis is not really a slot, to be quite honest with you. Um, he's more of an outside boundary type of corner. Maybe he gets some run out there and see what he can do. We'll see. Um, and then there's Brandon Stevens, who has been more focused on playing safety. Uh, he'll kind of play that big safety uh, or big nickel kind of role, maybe that uh, Kyle Hamilton was playing last year. Maybe Brandon Stevens gets... Brandon Stevens, excuse me, gets there in that kind of role. So maybe he gets some opportunities in um, at slot corner. But I think our Darius Washington has the best shot as it stands right now without the Ravens signing anybody, making any kind of moves. Um, our Darius Washington is the guy that I'm looking at. Like I said, the Ravens like him. They keep bringing him back. And when he's in the game, he makes plays. I mean, preseason versus the Cardinals last year, when he gets in the game in the regular season, he never looks completely out of place. Um, he's tough. He's physical. And he's He's good on the football. He makes a lot of plays on the ball, right, when he gets the opportunity to do that. So I think our Darius Washington is going to be in serious contention to be the Ravens slot corner. Um, so I'm looking out for him in training camp, and I expect him to excel and shine in the opportunities that he's given. And listen, man, if, if Pepe – and I like Pepe Williams a lot. But if he can't get on the field in a, in a succinct amount of time um, – he could be losing out on that battle. Same thing with Jalen Armour Davis. They could be losing out on that battle, right? I mean, just being honest with you, right? Um, last but not least, so the last thing that I am expecting to hear or see during Ravens training camp is I don't expect David Ojabo to slow down, all right? This whole offseason has been about David Ojabo picking momentum, picking up momentum, being uh, the Ravens' best pass rusher throughout all of the, the offseason so far. Not to say Odafi Owe has been a slouch, but – there have been significantly more reports about Ojabo looking good, playing better, everything like that. I do not expect David Ojabo to slow down. Um, I think that he'll continue to cause havoc for the Ravens offensive line during training camp. Uh, I think he'll cause havoc for other teams in preseason, you know, seeing how much he plays. You know, the Ravens might have a um, more cautious approach to preseason, you know, especially after the last couple of years with injuries and things like that. But when Ojabo gets the opportunity, I think he's going to wreak havoc. I think he's going to be one of the guys that's going to make a lot of plays, honestly. Um, so, hold on. Hey, sorry about that. So, look, David Ojabo is a first-round pick. Well, let me fix the camera a little bit. Uh, David Ojabo is a first-round pick. Could have been a guy that went top 15 last year. Ends up going to 45 to the Ravens. I fully expect him to have that breakout. I only feel kind of... I can't even say breakout because he barely played last year, but I fully expect him to have a really good season, and I, that starts in training camp. So I don't think he slows down in training camp. I think that the David Ojabo that we've been hearing about through all the offseason workouts, all the OTAs, is the same guy that we're going to continue to get in training camp into the season. Um, now, I'm not putting expectations on him to get 15 sacks or anything like that, but I think he'll have a good year, 8 to 10 sacks. I think it's very much on the table for David Ojabo. Um, so, yeah, I don't think he slows down at all. Those are my four expectations for uh, Ravens training camp. We'll see uh, if I'm right, wrong. Maybe I'll do a video at the end of training camp, see if anything, any, anything things happen. You know, maybe I'll do that video. But um, so offense will struggle. Don't worry about it. They'll get better with time. Devin Duvernay will emerge during training camp. Uh, Darius Washington, look off of him at slot, at slot cornerback. 
and uh, they have no job of continuing to just to climb up, up and up. So those are my expectations for Ravens training camp, man. Give me your expectations for what you think is going to happen at Ravens training camp. Football season is here. I can't wait. I'm too excited. Man. So, uh, but I'm going to get out of here, man. It's Gabriel. Just another fan TV. I'm out.